Hi everyone. Welcome to the fifth lecture of the series Kalman filter using MATLAB. In this lecture, we will discuss the basic idea of the Kalman filter and also its derivation. Here is the overview. We start with the basic idea of the Kalman filter. Then we move on to the derivation and the Kalman filter algorithm. Let us recall the basic idea of the Kalman filter. In Kalman filter, the measurement information up to time extent k is used for computing xk hat, which is the estimate of the state vector at time instant k. We denoted L as the time instance up to which the measurement information is used in the computation of the state estimate. Then for Kalman filter, we have L is equal to k. Since the measurement information up to time instant k is used for computing the estimate xk hat. As before, for the Kalman filter derivation, we will be considering the stochastic linear time varying system in which AK, PK, and CK are the time varying system matrix, input matrix, output matrix, which are assumed to be known. Moreover, we assume the disturbance DK, the noise VK, and the initial state X0 as Gaussian random vectors, with expectation of DK and VK as 0. Whereas the expectation of x0 can be non zero, which is assumed to be known. We also assume the vectors xk, dk, and bk as independent, which basically means the corresponding covariance matrices will be zero. Now the Kalman filter computes the estimate of the state vector using the difference equation in equation number three. Here the current measurement yk is used in the computation of the current state xk hat. Similarly, to compute xk minus 1 hat, the measurements up to time instant k minus 1 are used. This implies for Kalman filter, the estimate of the state vector in the time instant k is computed using the measurement information up to time instant k. Next, we move on to the Kalman filter derivation. Let us start the Kalman filter derivation by recalling the results on the expectation and variance of applying transformations. Let x and d are two independent random vectors such that e of x equal to 0 and e of d equal to 0. Then we have expectation of the applying transformation ax plus d will be equal to 0. And the variance of ax plus d will be equal to a v of x a transpose plus v of d. We derived these results in lecture number 3 and it can be extended for cases with more number of random vectors as well. For example, let x, d and v are three independent random vectors with expectation of 0. Then we have expectation of ax plus lv plus d will be 0 since e of x, e of v and e of d are 0. Similarly, variance of ax plus lv plus d will be equal to a v of x a transpose plus l v of d l transpose plus v of d. And we have v of ax comma cx will be equal to a into v of x into c transpose. In Kalman filter derivation, we will be using these results. In Kalman estimates, we denote the estimation error vector as xck which is the difference between the actual state and the estimated state. We also consider the estimate xk hat as the expectation of the state vector. Then for the estimation error vector, we obtain the expectation as 0 since e of xk equal to xk hat. And the variance of xck will be same as variance of xk. We start with the optimization based approach for the derivation which can also be called as the minimum mean square error derivation or the least square derivation. For the estimation error vector xck, the error dynamics can be obtained as in equation number 7 in which we substitute the state equation and the estimator equation. Here the times with control input cancels and we have ak minus 1 xk minus 1 minus ak minus 1 xk minus 1 hat will be equal to ak minus 1 xck minus 1 and dk minus 1 will be there as well and we have minus lk times this time. Here we can substitute for xk and yk hat which leads to this time. This we can simplify like this. 
From this equation, we can obtain the variance matrix PK, which is the variance of XEK. That's in equation number 8. Here, variance of XEK will be equal to I minus LKCK into variance of this term into I minus LKCK transpose plus LK into variance of VK into LK transpose. This we call as the differential equality equation or the DRE for the Kalman filter. Now in the Kalman filter, we choose the cost function as the mean square error of the state vector, which is equal to the expectation of XCK transpose XCK. And this is equal to trace of PK. Now from the Kalman filter DRE, we obtain PK as in equation number 10, in which the Riccati matrix PK is obtained as a quadratic function of the estimated gain LK. Now in the optimization based approach, the estimated gain LK is chosen to minimize the cost J. And from the first order condition for optimality, we require the gradient of the cost function J with respect to LK should be zero. This means the gradient of trace of PK with respect to LK should be zero. And this gives the estimated gain LK as in equation number 11. Next, we can have an alternate form for the Kalman filter derivation based on the optimization approach in which we separate the prediction and correction part and this leads to a more compact form of the estimator and Riccati equations. We denote XK given I hat as the estimate of the state at a time instant K computed using the measurement information at a time instant I. Using this, we can rewrite the Kalman filter equation as a two-stage process as in equation number 12. Here, xk given k minus 1 hat is the estimate of xk computed using the information at k minus 1 instant. Similarly, xk given k hat is the estimate of xk computed using the information at kth instant. For that, if we substitute for xk given k minus 1 hat from here, we get the same Kalman filter equation as earlier, with xk given k hat is equivalent to xk hat. Here, we call this first part as the prediction or forecast part which is based on the model based prediction and the second part is called as the correction or innovation part which is based on the sensor based correction. Now we can define the prediction error vector as xck given k minus 1 for which the error dynamics is obtained as in equation number 30. This is of the form of an append transformation. Therefore, we obtain variance of xck given k minus 1 as a k minus 1 variance of xck minus 1 given k minus 1 into a k minus 1 transpose plus variance of dk minus 1. We denote the variance of xck given k minus 1 as pk given k minus 1. And the variance of dk minus 1 will be qk minus 1. Therefore, we have pk given k minus 1 equal to a k minus 1, pk minus 1 given k minus 1 into a k minus 1 transpose plus qk minus 1. Similarly, we denote the estimated error as xck given k, which is the error obtained after the correction and equal the difference between xk and xk given k hat. And by substituting for xk given k hat, we obtain the error dynamics as in equation number 50, which is also a form of an append transformation. Therefore, the variance of xck given k will be equal to i minus lk ck into variance of xck given k minus 1, i minus lk ck transpose plus lk into variance of vk into lk transpose. Now, if we denote the variance of xck given k as pk given k and the variance of vk as rk, we obtain pk given k equal to i minus lk ck into pk given k minus 1 into i minus lk ck transpose plus lk into rk into lk transpose. By expanding this term and rearranging, we can rewrite this term like this, in which we have the variance matrix pk given k as a quadratic function of lk. So here we have a quadratic term with LK and this term in green color can be called as the Hessian term and we have a linear term with LK and this term in blue color can be called as the gradient term and we have a term that does not depend on LK. Now in the optimization based approach, the Kalman gain LK is chosen to minimize the cost J. For that we require the gradient of the trace of PK given K with respect to LK should be zero. So this term does not appear. Now for this term, if we take the gradient, we get minus 2 times the gradient time. And for this term, if we take the gradient, we get 2 LK times the Hessian time. 
here this 2 can be cancelled and if we move this time to the right hand side and right multiply with the inverse of the Hessian time we obtain LK like this basically the optimal estimator gain LK will be equal to the gradient time into the Hessian time inverse next we move on to the statistical approach in which we use the conditional expectation and variance equations for deriving the Kalman filter we denote xk given k hat with the expectation of xk given yk. Now using the conditional expectation equation, we have xk given k hat equal to e of xk plus lk into yk minus e of yk. And this will be equal to xk given k minus 1 hat plus lk into yk minus yk given k minus 1 hat. Now as per the conditional expectation formula, the estimator again lk will be equal to v of xk comma yk into v of yk inverse. We have yk equal to ck xk plus vk and we have e of ck xk plus vk will be ck into ck given k minus 1 into ck transpose plus rk and variance of xk comma yk will be vk given k minus 1 into ck transpose here variance of xk comma vk will be 0 because of the independent assumption so we obtain lk as in equation 19 which is similar as in the one obtained from optimization approach Similarly, the conditional variance equation gives pk given k, which is the variance of xk given yk as p of xk minus lk into v of yk comma xk. And here substituting for yk and simplifying, we obtain this as pk given k minus 1 minus lk into ck into pk given k minus 1. And here by substituting for lk, we obtain the final expression like this. Now in the optimization based approach, we obtain pk given k like this. And in this, if we substitute for LK, we obtain PK given K like this, which is the same as in obtained from statistical approach. From this equation, we can have some interesting remarks. For scalar systems, this equation can be rewritten as in equation number 22. Here, the inverse term will appear in the denominator, and also CK and PK given K minus 1 are scalars. So, CK into CK transpose will be CK square. Here, RK is the variance of the noise term, which is chosen as greater than 0, and we have PK given K minus 1 will also non negative. So, this term will be non negative, and this basically implies we have PK given K will be less than or equal to PK given K minus 1. And this can be generalized for higher order systems as well. In general, for Kalman filter, we have the variance of XCK given K minus 1 is PK given K minus 1. The variance of YK will be ck into pk given k minus 1 ck transpose plus rk and variance of xck given k will be equal to pk given k which is obtained like this here we have ck pk given k minus 1 ck transpose plus rk will be always positive w so this term will be always positive w which results in pk given k will be less than or equal to pk given k minus 1 or we have variance of xck given k will be always less than or equal to variance of xck given k minus 1 here, pk given k minus 1 is the variance of the prediction error and pk given k is the variance of the estimation error after adding the correction time. Therefore, by using the correction time or the measurement information, the variance of the state estimate can be reduced. Here, we can also observe that if variance of yk or this term decreases, its inverse will increase us and this term will become larger. So, this basically reduces the value of pk given k. This makes pk given k much smaller than pk given k minus 1. So, in other words, we have variance of xck given k will be much smaller than variance of xck given k minus 1. Next, we move on to the Kalman filter algorithm. For linear time varying systems, we define the sets A, B, C, Q, and R, which contains the system matrices, input matrices, output matrices, disturbance variances, and noise variances at each time instant over the time horizon as its elements. These sets are used for linear time varying systems in which we cannot represent the time varying matrices using some equations. Now in the Kalman filter algorithm, we start with the expectation and variance of the initial state which are denoted by x0 given 0 hat and p0 given 0. Then during each time instant k, we compute the predicted state xk given k minus 1 and the variance pk given k minus 1 using the system model 
and the variance matrices. Then using PK given K minus 1 and the system model parameters, we compute the estimator gain LK. Also, we obtain YK and YK given K minus 1 hat from the sensor measurements and the output equation. Now, using all this information, we compute the estimate of the current state XK given K hat and the variance PK given K using the Kalman filter equation and the difference Riccati equation. Here, the estimate XK given K hat is computed by adding the correction time to the predicted state XK given K minus 1 hat. This we will repeat at each time instant k until the end of the time horizon n. The Kalman filter algorithm basically gives the estimate of the state vector in terms of its expectation and variance. And in the next lecture, we will discuss some numerical examples and simulations of the Kalman filter. I complete this lecture. Thanks for listening.